Okay, today's fun is again undoing damage done by chimps in the past. And this is the antenna grommet. <laughs> Covered in some kind of black silicone goop. You gotta be kidding me. Just freaking nasty. Look at that. Okay. So, first thing I have to do is clean this crap off, and uh, then we'll go ahead and install the new ones. Uh, where did I put them? The new ones I got from the dealership. There's the inner and the outer. Got them plugged together at the moment, right there. Inner on the left, and outer, obviously, on the right. And uh, I'm going to clean this goop off, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, that's all cleaned up. Now, next thing to do is to remove the inner, um, whatever side you're... <laughs> your uh, antennas on, which should be the driver's side, but anyway, um, we're going to remove the uh, light cover, pull a little tab, swing it out. Inside here, there are two little clips, be very careful with them, it's old plastic, they pop out, and then there's an electrical connector in here, you have to unplug. pull the light away and now there's here yeah, up beside the uh, the trunk hinges there's two little plastic push pin pops the ones the centers that pop out we're gonna pop those out and I think that's about all we need to pull out and then pull the whole inner panel out with the, the well here on the uh, the side you have to empty all your crap out of the well anyway uh, back in two minutes with that Okay, now the inner fender liner is out. I'm going to wipe that out before I put it back in. But, uh, good time. You can always check your hydraulics on this side, see if anything's leaking, which it's not, thank God. Um, there should be, underneath this ground wire bundle, there's a single Phillips screw here holding the antenna, power antenna assembly in. So I'm just going to loosen this. I've already loosened it, so I should be able to take it out by hand. And, of course, I can't put this thing down. Sliding the antenna assembly out, down and out. Oops, screw. Down, taking my inner piece, which is the part here. And now we're gonna stick it up through the, yeah, sorry. I don't know if, you can, if I can give you a view of that. I'll show it to you from one side. From underneath, we're going to stick it up through. See the little, there's a little ridge in it that should catch and hold in there. Come on, you go through and then hop down. You can see the little the little lip in there that has to catch in the fender. I'm not going to be able to do this while I'm holding the camera. But anyway, I'm just going to push this in until it pops in. Back in a second. Okay, inner grommet popped on, and now it's just a simple matter of sliding the antenna. Do, 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 see if we can get you on that. Sorry, I'm blocking off half the light here. Anyway, you just slide the, the antenna mast up into the hole and then rebolt it with the Phillips screw. Put that screw back in. To stay away from being in front of the camera. I can't really see. There we go. I think that's it. Yeah, it is. 
excuse my voice again, still getting over the flu. It's been a nasty one. Let's back tighten it up, and now that's not going anywhere. And now we take our outer grommet, slip it over the top, and it should just snap on and done. I'll just clean this up a little bit and no more nasty antenna. Thanks for watching. Um, other than that, putting this stuff back together is just the opposite of taking it apart. Uh, be very careful putting it back together. Uh, don't cause more damage than you are trying to repair. Uh, thanks for watching.